A very good morning to all of you. Uh, I am Aditya Gaurav from Quantum Papers. So I will be presenting a paper on achieving new benchmarks in the field of energy, energy efficiency and sustainability in pulp and paper industry. So this is the presentation flow about us, then increasing energy prices, a major challenge for us. What are the available solutions we have worked out? And then what awards we have achieved? About quantum papers, we have a production capacity of 450 tons per day of paper and pulp, both agro and wood. Agro, we have 200 tons per day and wood, 180 tons per day. Power generation capacity, now we are having a capacity of 42 megawatt with a steam generation capacity of power boilers of 190 TPH and recovery boilers of 90 TPH. Now increasing energy prices, a major challenge for us. If we see the data of last 10 years, the prices of all energy commodities have increased. Right from the coal, petrol, crude oil, all petroleum products prices have increased in last 10 years. Not only the prices, the imports which we are doing every year has also increased in last 10 years and the trend is increasing which clearly shows that in the coming time, the energy prices will keep on increasing and we will have to find out solutions to tackle this increasing prices. Now at Quantum, we have worked on these major solutions to reduce the impact of these increasing prices. First of all, improving operate, operating efficiency and reducing a specific energy consumption Recycling of materials in sustainable manner, reducing waste generation, and as we discussed yesterday also, we have also trusted in investing on sustainable practices and technologies which can impact the cost of production. I will be presenting few case studies on each of these sections. First of all, we will see improving operating efficiency and reducing a specific energy consumption. In this, we have first of all upgraded our TG4, one of our turbines, a back pressure turbine from 10 megawatt to 13.4 megawatt. The problem which we faced earlier was that the condensing load of the three turbine setup which we were having was very high and we were not able to reduce it. Steam shortages during the process unit shutdowns, low PLF of operating turbines. We were operating around the 60% of total installed capacity, whatever we had. Or the turbines which we were operating, we were operating at 60% loads. Now solution which we implemented, we up upgraded our TG4 from 10 megawatt back pressure to 13 megawatt LP back pressure and MP controlled extraction turbine. What gains we have achieved? We have been able to reduce our condensing load by nine to 10 tons per hour. Our overall power generation capacity has increased. Better steam and power distribution during shutdowns, which has really uh, helped us to increase the paper production, reducing in a specific steam consumption and increasing plant PLF. The ROI of this project was eight months. Second case study is reducing pulpic cost and making system environment friendly by optimizing steam and power consumed in pro producing pulp bleaching chemicals in ECF bleaching. What problems which we faced? High CLO2 is a major cost of paper producer. High production cost of chlorine dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and sulfuric acid. High consumption of steam and power and sodium chloride for producing CLO2. Solution which we implemented for reducing the cost, we replaced our steam ejector with vacuum pumps for eliminating the steam consumption, replacement of MP steam with LP steam for lower cost in vamp chillers, replacement of raw water with soft water in vamp chiller, thus reducing the steam consumption. Increasing CLO2 concentration from 9 to 10 to 11.5 to 12 GPL, thus reducing chilled water consumption. Increasing sodium chloride concentration from 650, 660 to 725 to 730 to achieve reduction in steam consumption. 
We also did producing of sodium sulfate in powdered form, saved power of pumping to soda recovery, and utilizing the weak ClO2 in cooling towers. The overall gain which helped us to reduce the production of cost of ClO2, we eliminated the MP steam consumption, reduced our LP steam consumption, zero effluent target achieved, environment friendly process, and significant power and steam saving by replacing uh, cooling load of adiabatic cooling and reducing pumping activities. The third case study, a major case study of installing of uh, black liquor cooling system in DM water heating. The project purpose was to heat the DM water with the black liquors, which is being produced in BSW1 seal tank and being used to dilute and pulp before blowing in cold discharge of Panita tubular continuous digester. So the step which we followed was, first of all, the black liquor from BSW1 filtrate tank is being cooled through a PHE from 85 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. This black liquor is being cooled by a water which is, so hot water is being generated. Now this cooled black liquor is used for cold blowing. The hot water which is generated is used to heat the DM water from 30 to 70 degrees centigrade. And the cold water which is being stored in warm water tank and again used to generate the hot water to the black liquor PHE. This project also has an investment of around 2 crores and a ROI of around 6 months. Coming to the second step, recycling materials in sustainable manner. In this, a case study of installation of condensate polishing unit for saving of water and steam energy. Problem which we faced, non-utilization of few section condensates directly in our boilers. Draining of condensates during minor startups and contaminations. Boiler CBD, IBD, trap condensate also cannot be directly utilized in the boilers. Contaminated condensates posting threats to high pressure boiler. The boiler life is directly affected by the quality of water which we are inputting. The solution which we identified to install a condensate polishing unit which will polish the condensate to the quality of boiler water and recover heat as well. The final output of the water from the polishing unit will be have parameters which will be suitable for the direct feed to the boilers. This is the block diagram of the polishing unit. With this, we will be able to save 170 tons of condensates which were earlier not utilized in the boilers and we are being used as soft water or as raw water. The trap and blow down condensates are also being now recovered. The condensate quality is ensured and the asset life is also ensured. The ROI of this project was also 18 months. Another case study for the use of HRSCC for processing of high TSS water. The TSS water being generated in the paper is having a TSS load of 1000, up to 1000 ppm. This high TSS load present in water is usage becomes very difficult in any application. And the wide flow range of TSS presence makes more difficult to handle the flow of water. So what solution we have implemented? We have installed at HRSCC which can handle solid loads up to 1,000 ppm, and the treated water has a TSS less than 50 ppm. It can handle a wide range flow rate and a size range. The rise rates are higher than conventional clarifiers, up to 3.6 meter per hour, sludge consistency up to 2 to 5 percent, and total volume generated is 5,000 meter cube per day. These are few more water recovery projects which are being carried out to use the internal water which is being generated in one section to the other sections. 
With help of these projects, we have also able to use around 1,000 to 1,500 MQ of internal water which is being generated in our system in various other applications. Reducing the waste generation, following wastage, we are being produced in our industry. We use them in our boilers, wood dust, wood bark, weed straw dust. We use the ATP sludge for board making. Our 100% fly ash being used by the cement plants and our CFBC high pressure boilers are equipped with five field ESP for setting a benchmark of emission below 30 milligram per annum cube. Last, investing in sustainable practices and technologies. We have invested in upgrading our turbines, which were uh, earlier of SST-150 model, and were not as efficient as, uh, as per our requirement. Now, after upgradation, we have upgraded them to SST-300. The rotor is fitted with a re resonance-proof blading, which guarantees high efficiency over operating range, including rapid change of load in the plant operation. It also has a symmetrical casing design, either inner casing or nozzle casing for fast startup. With these turbines, we have been able to stop one of our turbines and increase our plant PLF to 65 to 80%. With continuous efforts and putting investment in the energy saving projects, we have been able to sustainably reduce our specific energy consumption from 0.579 MTOE in 2021-22 to 0.372 in 2022-23. And for this achievement, we were also awarded the first prize at the state level energy conservation award. And if we see in the PAT 1 to PAT 7 cycle continuously, there is a, a specific energy consumption reduction by 17% from PAT 1 to PAT 7 till now at quantum papers, which is a big achievement for the company. And we will continue to work in this sustainable manner. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.